let's take a look at what it takes to replace the fan clutch on this 03 Ford truck with a 6 liter power stroke diesel engine. Now, yes, it looks quite convoluted in here, not a lot of room. We're going to go ahead and remove this inner shroud. I've already re removed the clips, so that's kind of out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and go underneath the truck. There's a, a drain valve on the radiator itself. I'm going to drain the coolant down. I'm going to remove the upper radiator hose, also the overflow of the, the hose going to the day gas bottle. Then there's two bolts holding this upper shroud piece in place. We're going to get that out of the way. That's really going to open things up. And we're also going to, at the same time, remove our electrical connector for this fan clutch here. Now, this engine uses this electroviscous fan clutch. It means that there's a speed sensor in here. There's also an actuator to cause the fan to engage and disengage based on stuff like engine oil temperature, engine coolant temperature, even vehicle speed. If the vehicle is going 70 miles an hour down the expressway, the fan certainly doesn't typically have to be turned on. And so it's going to monitor all that stuff and turn the fan on and off. So let's get it get started. I'm going to start removing the parts here and get down to the actual fan clutch. Okay, now you can see we've got the shroud assembly up out of here. We've made a little bit of room here and unplugged the electrical connector for the fan. And we're kind of got that out of the housing here. It's very important when we put our new one in, we want to lock that in place. Otherwise, those wires could get tangled up in our fan. Now I'm going to take a a hub holding tool and a wrench to get on the fan clutch itself. I'm going to hold the pulley in place and spin this off of there. Now we're going to do that by coming in from the side here. It's very difficult to show on camera, but that's the way we're going to approach it. Once that hub spins off the pulley, we'll be able to remove the entire assembly up here out of the radiator area. Well, we've used our tools to break this loose. Now I'm going to hold the wire harness on this old one here. I'm just going to spin this fan assembly off of the hub. Now it's threaded on there pretty good and it's got fine thread threads but you can see once we get it loose I can pick it up out of here and find the little opening right there. You gotta pull the radiator back. Remember it is still a tight fit here but we'll get this up out of here. Now there's a couple bolts here holding the, the fan assembly to, to our clutch. We're going to remove these and retorque them properly and transfer this over to our new hub. Before we do that, we want to carefully inspect this to make sure that there's no cracks. This one actually looks pretty good here, and so we're ready to reinstall it. All right, we've got our new fan clutch here. Remove the fan blade from the old unit. Before I install them in here, use a little bit of a, a thr thread locker blue on these. We're going to put them in and work my way around. And then we're going to torque all of these to 30 foot pounds. Work our way around, make sure they're good and snug. We don't need to over tighten them, but let's uh, torque them properly. 30 foot pounds, and then we're ready to reinstall our unit back on the truck. Well, now we've transferred the fan blade over to our new clutch. We've got it threaded on the water pump here and so we can spin it around till it snugs up. Make sure it continues to spin nice and freely. If you have to fight it, well it's probably a sign that we've got messed up threads on the water pump or on the fan clutch itself. So it's a good idea to inspect them before we even get to this point. But as you can see, it's spinning quite freely right now and so we're going to continue to slide it on there until it bottoms out. Then we'll grab our tools and we'll tighten it up again. Now this particular fan is just good old-fashioned righty-tighty lefty-loosey. Some other models are going to have a reverse thread in which that will give you a warning typically, but be aware of that. One other thing we want to pay special attention to is to get this wire harness locked into place properly in the fan shroud here. So you see it's locked in now. Now I'm not so concerned about those wires rubbing on the fan once we get this all assembled and uh, back together. We're going to make our electrical connection, finish assembling the shroud here, hook the hoses up, put our air cleaner back in place, bleed the cooling system properly, 
clear any trouble codes that may have been set, and retest the system, make sure our cooling fan is operating properly. But there's some of the installation tips on this thing. A, make sure the threads are good and clean. Make sure that you connect this again. And while you're in there, you know, it might not be a bad time to replace the water pump, belt tensioner, belt, some of those other associated components there. Hopefully now you understand what's involved with replacing the fan clutch on a six liter power stroke engine.